So we've made our way to the Alpha Labs here. Dude, I've received a report that you haven't reached Bravo TV. You need to pick up the pace. I can't wait for it. Reaching the communication facility quickly is imperative. All right, Kelly, I'm on it. How do I get out of here? Oh, this is not a good sight to be greeted with. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What's wrong with you? Let me in. So obviously does not want me a room to retreat to in here. Anybody else want to wake up? Somebody's through there. Okay, a couple guys coming out. I say, oh god, wow, okay, you really can't see anything. I know he's vaguely in this area. He's still coming. Jesus. Somebody's still in this area. Oh, I've got a little bit healthier. Let's grab one of those for more armor as well. Jesus, if I got a really low FOV here or something, everything seems very close. Uh, unlock doors. Turn the lights on. Oh, thank you. The UAC takes pride in its safety record. Please follow UAC procedures. Here we go. I was just thinking at the, um... As I started this level here. Oh, no! Okay, that could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. Yeah, the, the game really hasn't spooked me as much as I thought I did. I guess I remember more of the game than I thought I was going to. It's been eight years since I played this, and like I said before, it's only ever been the BFG edition, which is decidedly less scary. Oh my god, where the hell did you come from? But yeah, I think part of it as well is just the fact that I'm talking my way through it. Hang on. Oh no. Okay. Oh god, no. Let's head back for some of that, um, medikit, actually. What was that? He's here to try and catch me out if anyone goes back for the health, I think. Whatever, I don't think I... What was that? Oh, I got some armor, okay. I've remarked on it before, even like the pickup noises in this game are designed to creep you out. For generations, humankind has moved under the looming specter of slowly dwindling natural resources. Our new ventures on planets like Mars have only intensified our need to find fresh sources for metals, petrochemicals, food, water, and to meet currently, UAC researchers have developed dramatic solutions. Solutions that will soon pay off for the UAC, its investors, and indeed the entire human race. Mars itself is our chief ally and the key to our solution. Look around at its vast red deserts, rich in naturally occurring iron oxides. They are the raw materials of our future. We have developed a process that destabilizes the atomic structure of pulverized iron oxide and separates it into subatomic particles, which are then siphoned off to create new elements. Like alchemists of old, the elemental phase deconstructor allows us to transform red Martian soil into clean air, fresh water, and hydrogen fuel, the building blocks for a sustainable, human-friendly Martian environment. And this is only the beginning. With continued research, we envision creating ever more complex molecules, even organic matter itself. And by atom, the 
UAC is building an ever brighter future for humankind. Look at the way that light uh, kind of illuminates the area, that flashing warning. So cool. And also we're seeing the, the fruits, the labor of UAC's projects here. Where are you heading off to, mate? I don't think I can get through this way. Is this going to hurt me to even attempt? Ah, okay, it is going to. Yep, okay, silly. So where am I heading to now? Could I go through the window on the right here? I can, okay. Ah, oh, okay. Oh. The variation in time between their kind of projectile shots actually really increases the difficulty of fighting those guys. Like, I know in just like vanilla Doom from the 90s, you'd always have like a set fixed time when the animations start, and you could just kind of maneuver your way around it, but, there, but sometimes they just really kind of hold onto their fireballs for quite a while longer than you expect them to. That looks like a bad thing to step in front of. Her voice. There's a weapons locker. Hang on. Was there anything under here? I feel like he was protecting something. He wasn't. Okay, it was nothing. Right. Hello. Oh no, there's worse. I got a ton of shotgun ammo, so I'm gonna try and use that. Oh, Jesus, what the hell? Stop, stop. What the hell? Jesus. I can't even see him there. Thank you, headphones. Okay, stay calm. I picked up a PDA and all that chaos. That looks like a trap. Warning. EPD laser active. How's my ammo for this thing? Not huge. Let's stick to this. Hang on, let's get our PDA first. Anything I can do from in here? I can't disable it. Alright, Carl Berger. Hi, uh, EPD accident. I'm going to for Carl Berger, research supervisor for the EPD project. Uh, the, uh... The elemental phase deconstructor is fully operational, and the research data we have gathered so far is very impressive. Unfortunately, we had a terrible accident last week. Research assistant Patterson was calibrating one of the core committees in the chamber, and witnesses say he appeared to see something. So most like uh, something was talking to him, and uh, he backed right into the particle beam. It was not a pretty sight, as it took off the backside of his head. He lived a few minutes, although I'm not sure you could consider that living. But they say his eyes rolled back and forth, and he was trying to talk, although after losing that much brain matter, I'm sure it was his reflex actions. Anyway, due to this, I have enacted new safety protocols in the lab, and we have stocked one of the storage cabinets with emergency medical supplies. The code for the cabinet is 7 Five, two. End of okay, 752. The chain gun's uh, 
30 cal armor piercing round delivers substantial damage, but heavy recoil reduces accuracy. The infantry issue fragmentation grenade is activated by a twist detonator. Fire delay is 3 seconds with an injury rate of 30 meters. I'm pretty sure it exploded on impact earlier, but whatever. William Lampo, uh, EPD status. Dr. Berger, everything is going exceptionally well uh, as we prepare the EPD for its next round of tests. Roy Patterson is setting up the baseline now, and we should be able to start testing later this afternoon. If your schedule allows, please feel free to join us down here in the lab around 2 o'clock. Should be exciting. EPD collection chamber status. Dr. Carl Berger, the maintenance team has just finished cleaning the EPD collection chamber. All biomatter has been scrubbed from the area. Deep clean also confirms a clean sector as per your request. 14 collection cones and 5 trays have been replaced. Please be sure to stop by maintenance as you'll need your signature for the parts requisitions form. I guess that happened after that guy's brain was splattered everywhere. Oh no, what was it? 752? Okay, thank god I remember that. What have we got here? Nothing I really want to pick up at the moment. Grenades, clips. Um, there was an armor in here. Why do I feel like this is a trap? I guess I remembered it being one. Toxic gas. Or maybe it's not. I guess we're moving on. Let's just grab it. Can I crouch under this? Let's test this. Actually, you know what? Let's save, then let's test it. Yeah, okay. Um, how do I open this? Okay, they can respond to light. Yeah, okay. Jesus. Shots I don't need. Hang on, what's this though? Uh, power outage, battery reserve. Back up your files. Let's do that. Shutting down. What did I just get there? Did I pick up something up? Personal. No, I didn't. No. Okay. So in a second phase there's something I missed. Perhaps not. No. What was that? Oh, you. Hello. Which way do I want to go here? Let's go what looks to me like backwards first. Let's um, not attempt to go backwards here. Maybe we can shut down those, but I don't think so. I think that's just a little bit of ammo. Oh god! Stop! Bloody room.
Oh, Jesus. You dead. Shells. Okay, yeah. I need to reload. Stop, stop, stop. God. What's that? Oh, yeah. oh god, I really need to reload. Shot in the crotch. I love that there. It could be just like machinery clanging or it could be something terrible hammering on something from outside. Okay, hang on. Let's check the PDA before we do anything else here. Thank God that things don't run in the background when you're on your PDA, so honestly. Jack Smith, what have we got? HR accident report. for Jack Smith, benefits analyst in HR 1024 and I just went through another batch of accident reports from the science team. We've had five more people hurt this week while working with the equipment. The most serious incident was from John Hughes, whose hand was caught among the plastic extrusion systems. He was performing maintenance on it and states that he unplugged it and had the safety key in his pocket to activate without the parent power source and uh, shredded his arm up to the elbow before someone got him out. <laughs> it's been reported that the uh, machine is still running and we can't shut it down. The cost on that incident alone is enough to raise the red flag, but this is just one in a pile. We're going to overrun our budget on the benefits pay on this quarter. And while it's not my department, I have to assume that the new equipment budget is going to be blown out as well because, according to these reports, the equipment's breaking down on a daily basis. Please mark this for review in corporate and the law. Right, so something's taking control of the machinery in here. Mr. Smith, in light of the recent increase of work-related accidents in the Alpha Labs, we feel it necessary to implement a buddy system where routine maintenance is being performed on some of the heavier equipment. We feel this should cut down on some of the claims being filed in your department. Please get back to me if you have any other ideas on how to keep Alpha Labs as safe as it can be. Thank you, Brian Jenkins. Jack, please tell the UAC corporate is please tell me UAC corporate is kidding. How the hell is buddy system gonna do anything with accident claims except double them? Tell me how a buddy system would have prevented Joe Torsboy Moss from be having his arms and legs hacked off by an Albuquerque capacitor. Uh, maybe his buddy would have heard the thing growl and engage without power or a CRF module. Maybe his buddy's hair would have burst into flames instead of instead and saved us the trouble of needing to run and find water to put him out. Next thing they'll do is fix, uh, do is try to fix the problem by having us fill out more MAR forms or reforecast our ODF. Right, what have we got here? Warning: fire detected in pipe. Yeah, okay, this is the fire we saw. I think. I don't know if that map relates to anything. Gas leak stopped. Excellent. Fire extinguished. Perfect. Right, let's head back. Who else is going to have popped in on our way over? Okay, we're moving on. I think we're max on this. No, not quite. How much ammo have we got for this? I'm going to stick with the shotgun for a little bit. Just want to build up my ammo reserves. Yes, I got one guy at least. Quick thinking. Ah, uh, there's no glass here. Oh my god. their face do the damage with this thing. This ain't no oh no, what am I doing here? Ah, silly. Give me the medikit in this room. Jesus, they really don't want you going back for things. Every mistake is really punished. Yeah, okay. Shotgun is not a reliable way of dealing with those guys. Not when I have to approach them. When they can come to me at real close range, I can use it. I won't grab that medikit. Save it. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Reload. Come on then. Jesus, they got like two skull heads. 
God, they keep coming. Let's keep loaded. All right. Trusting in our corner here. It's unlocked. New type of enemy there for us. More of this growth. Jesus. Bad things happened in this room. Oh no, you're really gonna make me go down here. I don't like it. Okay, I got a dead end behind me at least. <laughs> Stop. God. Can I shoot those barrels? I got an idea here. Oh damn, it didn't open the grating like oh my god, I can't see a thing. Is this the same room? I think it is. Damn it. <laughs> this is the last stand of some marines in this cage here. Where'd he go? Oh, okay. That's not really the range I thought that was going to have there. I think I killed him all the same. What was that I heard? Right, there's the other gap there. Am I in the wrong place or right place? Stop, what was that? Machine gun. Hang on, this looks like the way forwards. Anything worth grabbing in here a little bit? Two health, you know what, that might be the difference between life and death, so I don't think I wasted my time. I'm amazed I've made it this far without dying once. I mean that, but just saying that means I'm definitely going to die in the next couple seconds, but there's been some very close things. That pinky in that really cramped room, first encounter with one, was one of the worst. Oh, did I see a shadow? No, I couldn't have, it was a corridor. some steps on the right. Yeah, there's a catwalk going off that way. It's a dead end this way. Damn it. Damn it, railing. This is nothing. That's definitely not a good place to go. Ta No, no. Oh my god, stop. Right, okay, we'll go the way you want us to go. Oh, hello. Oh, damn it, there's something much worse at the end of the room than you. Oh. You have to reload? I already made that mistake a second ago. Why did I attempt it a second time? Stop running at these machine gun guys with a shotgun. Power out. 
advantage. Whose files am I backing up here? This is the second one of these I've had. I wonder if I've missed another or if I'm going to get something by doing all this. Ah, god. God. Triple hit on me there. There's something else in here. There it is. Damn it, particle things are gone soon. I, I mean, I knew that was going to happen. I really don't know why I wasn't more prepared for it. Damn it, I can't even think with this health. 57. What's that? Oh. Oh no. Right, I can't afford to take any chances here. I got a ton of ammo for this. Stop. I think I, there's something happening in there through that class. Maybe not. Focus him down. Damn it! I think there was maybe something here through the glass, but I was standing in such a place that I couldn't see it. This is not going to open easy. Just ammo, mostly. Just stick to this. Rifle guys are my biggest fear at the moment. Or anyone jumping at me through a door. Stop. Ah! Okay. Now you're alive. Where did he come from? Nowhere. Someone's close. Oh, hello. They're not that strong. God, these machines... The noises, it's so well designed, the, the soundscape of this game. You. Okay. Like everything is created so it sounds like it could be a threat. You're always on your toes. Oh, thank God. Ah! Ah, stop. What was that? Shut. Where are we going? We've... Is this the way to go? I don't want to go that way yet. There was a, a control panel in this prior room. What is this here? Hydrocon Lab Station 2. This is Hydrocon Control we're standing in right now. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Statistics, calibration. Okay. Discharging. Interesting. I don't think there's anything to glean from that. Oh, we picked up a, a disc here, actually. We need either Harvey or Lipsitz to get into this area. Let's check our, our CD here. Video discs. Hydrocom, what is this thing? Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth have waged war over two things vital to human existence fuel and water. As part of its ongoing commitment to create safer worlds for everyone, the UAC recently unveiled its development of the Hydrocom. Though still in its prototype stages, the Hydrocom will, in one dramatic move, Forever end all shortages of water and fuel. By splitting iron oxide molecules, the Hydrocon produces oxygen and hydrogen cheaply and safely without the need for large amounts of electricity. The hydrogen is then used for hydrogen fuel. 
a substance so versatile and clean that it can be used in everything from home appliances to today's most demanding rocket engine. A side benefit of producing this fuel is an endless supply of pure, spring-like water that is more refined than any earthbound spring. We envision a world where technologies such as the hydrocarb can be used to end drought and civil strife in impoverished nations where water or fuel have ever been in short supply. While always at the forefront of scientific research and development, Union Aerospace hopes that the creation of the hydrocarb will continue to make safer worlds for everyone. Right, I'm an utter fool and I just blasted someone who was going to try and tell me something in the face, so I'm restarting. Uh, there was another one of those consoles just there that you can back up. Let's head up these now. Where are we going to end up? Squeeze Pacini's gaps here. This is... Oh, I startled me. Yes, you startled me too. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky day. I got to blow a few circuits and it's unstable. Be careful of that gun. A straight bullet in the glass shields can blow the whole area. I'm gonna try and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. Okay, you do that then. If that's all he was gonna tell me, I feel like I wasted my time restarting, but whatever. I did want to see it all. Right, let's not get crushed here. What's happening? Unable to establish connection with primary interface. PDA here. Let's stay up for a second. Check our PDA first. Bernie Lipsis, we needed his uh, security clearance for the Hydrocon access. He has no um, audio logs. Time off. Hey, Bern, some of the boys now are headed over to Mars City tonight after the shift for some beers. You, as always, are welcome to come along with us, buddy. Uh, I will see you there. Hydrocon O2 leak. Lip says a siphon hose in the oxygen displacement valve is forming a leak due to the lower temperatures required to boost production in the Hydrocon labs. If this hose were to rupture, it would cause severe instability in the Hydrocon systems and could result in a very dangerous situation. It should be, uh, it should really be replaced. Dr. Anubis was that. Right, um, let's not drop down, because I suspect that's nowhere. I can hear steps that aren't mine. Somebody beneath us, I think. Okay, here we are. I want to check something as well. There was a security panel through here. Still, uh, still closed. Don't know if there's a way to open that. We could hear somebody in this room here. There you are. Hello, friend. Yeah, I, I knew I heard that. That could have been bad. Got a shotgun. There's, there was Governor Swan there. Why am I saying Governor Swan? That's playing Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> oh, Jesus! My first death. I can't believe it. So, okay, watch our fire around these things. They did warn us. Maybe we want to watch our fire a little bit more. No, hang on. You know what? This is a good weapon. But... Quickly get rid of that icon. No pickups I can see there. So Swan's not far from us. Hello. Trying to make me fire at the wall again, or at the explosives. Health station. Some more hang, hang grenades as well. We'll save it. Ah, oh, yeah, we were down on the other side of that earlier on. Let's 
Swan went through this way. Let's go the- hang on, no, 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 no. Let's go this way first. We've actually watched that already. Alpha red. Locked. I guess we are going this way then. Watch out, a big one could knock out our 